Good morning, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well, safe and healthy. So I am in our bathroom right now because I feel like this is a good lighting in here. Um, um, as I've mentioned in my previous vlogs before, I broke my ring light um, while we were moving because I didn't really wrap it good. So it was my fault and I didn't get the chance to, re to order a new one. So um, I'm doing this intro for my empty house tour because um, I filmed our empty house tour right after closing. So we closed 4 p.m. So I filmed it around 6, 6.30 p.m. Okay, so it was not really a typical empty house tour. Like it was not really what I planned, but it was cute and you know, um, it was okay. So um, I was ac actually accompanied by one of our friend's daughter. Her name is Olivia and she helped me with the empty house tour, which I'm really like, it was so cute. She's so cute. She helped me with the permission of her dad. Um, she was, I mean, he was helping uh, my ha husband and stepson moving our stuff. So, but um, with that being said, it was just really a quick empty house tour. I didn't get the time to really explain or share um, a detail or story of the some parts of our house because um, if you watch my previous vlogs or previous vlog about moving, we stayed in our Airbnb for a couple of nights. And so at that time, I was also rushing because I had to go back to our Airbnb to put my son, uh, my son to uh, bed. Okay. Okay. A few moments later. So I'm back because, you know, it's mommy duties. I have to stop for an hour to um, attend to my um, son Dylan's stuff. Okay. So um, he's napping right now. So I'm okay. I'm good. Okay. So where was I? Okay. So what I'm trying to say is in this video, um, I am going to stop some of the parts while filming because I am going to explain um, or give you some details of the other parts of the house. So without further ado, please watch this. Hey friends, so today or tonight, we just had a closing and I'm going to show you an empty house tour with my friend. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia! <laughs> so, let's start upstairs. So this is the upstairs bonus room. Let me... This is the upstairs. And um, is this... This is just like a big living area or guest bedroom or playroom a multi-purpose room and in here is the attic yes oh very creepy very creepy <laughs> okay show us the downstairs olivia come on this is the downstairs downstairs here's the scones wall light Okay. And then in here, oh. That's the light. In here is oh. the formal dining room. Yes. Look at that light. I love that light with a big window with this railing. And don't mind the um, stuff on the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because we had to clean those like stickers and paint. And that is what they call a coffered ceiling. So, yeah, and then show us, Olivia, where to go next. Head. Okay. Here is, um, this is... The baby's room? No, this is Isaac's bedroom. Oh. Yeah, his bedroom, <laughs> that guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is his closet. Where is the light of his closet? There you go. That's the light. 
<laughs> and then we're going to baby's room. It's right there, yep. That's the baby's room, and this is his closet. Same thing as Isaac's. Mm hmm, same thing. It's his room, and then here there's a bathroom. Yeah. It's a big bathroom with one sink because I realized that counter space is more important than the sink. And these are all soft clothes. And this one, which is fancy. Fancy, you put your brush or sponge. Yep. Mm -hmm. And also, that's a good hiding place. Yes. <laughs> you can be hiding. Okay. For the bathroom sink in this bathroom, this is the biggest guest bathroom. Um, this is actually going to be shared with my son and my stepson because it's in the middle of their of their bedrooms. But this is also a guest bathroom. My stepson doesn't really live here every day. He works in Tuscaloosa and, and I just want him to have a room with us too if he comes home. But um, what do you call that? In the original plan of our builder or the floor plan, it has it was it just has one sink. We didn't upgrade it for two sinks because as a mom right now, I realize that the counter space is more important than a sink, especially if we have guests, family and friends to came over to stay with us. Okay, so this is my vision. The front, the stairs, like the upstairs, there's one whole big room in there, right? That would be like a family room, playroom, guest bedroom, like everything, like a multi-purpose room. So my vision and vision was um, if we have family and friends, especially me, I have lots of family and friends in California and, um, and my sisters too, they are family of four. So when they were going to sleep in the upstairs, they'll go downstairs and that's the first bathroom okay so they were going to use that one probably 90 percent of the time our guests they were going to use that bathroom so it has a big counter space that they can put like my sister has diaper bags kids stuff like all your cosmetics or hair dryer or stuff like that they will be comfortable and they have space to put their stuff on the counter without you know like having a problem of the counter space so that's why we didn't upgrade for two sinks in there and we just stick to the one um what do you call that one sink and, and then where to go next that's the front door and in here there's the kitchen here's the kitchen it's not really done yet we don't have a microwave and a cooktop. They said it will be done today, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, so let's start on the kitchen um, cabinets. Okay, this is a little bit um, interesting story, but hear me out. Okay, for the kitchen details or the kitchen cabinets, when we had our interior, um, what do you call that? Interior appointment with the interior designer or facilitator of our builder, um, like many, many months ago, she showed me a picture of this style or detail in the island. Um, and then she asked me, do you want this style, like the craftsman style, or you just want to have, you know, like a, just a plain board of, you know, um, for your kitchen cabinet island um, and I said no I really want this style it, it looks unique and different and I want that because if you if you know me and my husband we're not really like this common type into your designer in our house we we have a different style like you know we want a not matchy matchy or we want not common we just want we want every furniture or every artwork or detail in our house that has a story behind it or um, a detail about it or a characteristic or character. So I picked that one and also I picked um, Black Island because as you've noticed in our old house, 
we actually painted our island blue because again i really like a different color of an island i just wanted to have hit her own story as well that's why i want a different color of an island so in this house my husband and i wanted a classic modern organic look of our house um so neutral colors like black white and wood tones would be our preference for this house we wanted um again i think like a, that's the vibe that we wanted to our this house okay so in our old house i I kind of went to a vibe where a modern, um, bright modern color, which is like blue, gray, and white. But then as the years goes by, I kind of matured on my um, design standpoint. So I, I picked black and um, at first they wanted, um, at first I wanted stained, but then as long as I've researched, the stained black is not really black in person. So since there's only option stained or painted but the but the what do you call that the white cabinets there's no option it's like only painted so i said okay let's just do painted also for the black island so it will be like matchy matchy for the texture you know and also um again the stained black island it's not really black in person okay so going back to the detail I didn't know. I didn't know that they were going to do the craftsman style cabinet in the entire kitchen plus the bathroom cabinets plus the laundry room cabinets. I didn't know that. Okay. So um, when I saw that at first, um, to be honest, I was shocked. I was surprised. I didn't know what to feel. I was like, hmm, this is not really what I thought it would be. I didn't know that it will look like this. I didn't know that they will do it in the whole cabinet, in the whole cabinetry, in the whole house, basically. So at first I didn't really like it because it was not common. It was not the usual cabinets that I always see in houses, you know? So what I did first is I took a picture of it and I posted it in a Studio McGee fan base um i've mentioned this before in one of my blogs i am a fan of studio mcgee it's a interior designer um studio show in netflix the title is dream home makeover i also follow them in instagram i will clip a picture here so i posted it in um in the in a fan base and that i'm a member of because obviously people will post there like what do you think about this or what do you think about that do you want to suggest something like this so i posted it i will try to find um my post in there and because it's been many many months ago so i'll try to find it and clip it here but i posted it there i posted it and people were like in shock and really loved it uh, it was like beyond my expectation, really. They're like, oh my God, it's so nice. Um, how much did you spend for that one? Like, it looks expensive. Um, it's a very nice custom cabinet. Cabinet. It's not just like a white, a, a white plain cabinet, you know? Like, I really like the, char the characteristic, the character, the detail. Like, how much does it? Like, it's like a lot. Like, it's overwhelming that... You know that those are their responses and i mean like oh my god i didn't know that this is nice you know um so i went back actually because my reaction was not that big because we went there like around 6 p.m so i couldn't really see i was doing flashlight and stuff like that so i went back to the house my husband and i went back to the house and i said hmm let me like really sit down or like not sit down stand up and just look at the cabinets um just study it and then i started to like it especially when they put the backsplash on and i'm like okay this is it i really love it i love the detail uh, this is a blessing in disguise it's not common it's not just a common white plain cabinet and it really speaks to my personality and my husband's personality and it just makes the cabinet like an art 
like really like like an artwork it's like tells the story that you know like every detail so i really love it it's a blessing disguise i we didn't pay extra for it or any upgrade she just asked me because she said you are in a premium contract with us so you have the option to pick um, a craftsman style or any style that you want um in the cabinets so that's the story this is the master bedroom yes. Mm -hmm. It has two sinks, it has a shower, and it has a closet, which does not have a light. <laughs> this is the shower. It looks like marble, but it's a tile. Oh, this one is marble, the flooring, but the side are tiles and has two shower heads. Right, okay. And then... <laughs> We have the toilet, which it has a sliding door. Mm hmm Nice. And then here is the clothes room. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here's the bathtub. Yes. The bathtub. And so, for the bathroom tiles, you have the option to pick two bathroom styles, and also um, if you wanna want it more than. Obviously, you need to pay an upgrade for that, but we, we didn't do that. So for the bathroom tiles, I, we picked the one that looks like a marble, but it's not marble. I really love it. So obviously, we can go for marble too, but again, it's extra and I don't want to pay for that. And, um, and then the second is just a grayish, a little bit rustic, but modern industrial look. Um, that's the two tiles that we picked. Um, Initially, my husband wanted a square tile, but then I told him that that's not really a trend right now. So the rectangular tiles are like the one that looks modern and um, trend right now. So that's what we picked. Okay, go first. And then... Where are we going to go to laundry. Okay. In here is going to the garage. This is the mud room or mud area. And then in here is the laundry room. Which it's not finished yet though. Yeah, uh huh. We need to put the dryer and the washer. And we have cabinets. Cabinets. Mm-hmm. This one has water in this one. Yep, has yes. water in it. This one you can put your shoes. Yeah. Like all the things that you want. If they're money or if mm -hmm. there's Mm -hmm. and then we have a garage yeah a three-car garage yep. yep it's big and then so the island is black black island white quartz that's the kitchen yep. this is the breakfast nook in here we'll go to the pot pantry yeah it's the breakfast nook and we have the pen. Sliding door as well. Yeah. And, and there's a plug in here that you can put, you know, like appliances. Yes. And then we have right here. Sliding door. What is that one? That's the... the um, back, the backyard. The backyard. And then we also have a door that can go into this room. Which it's locked. It's locked. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the view. Yeah, we have the view. It's there. And, and then what's next? We're going to that other room right here. Uh -huh. And we also have a fireplace that That's, has it's a remote. remote that can turn There's the remote right here. This one is the remote. And this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. How do you um, turn it on? <laughs> is it turning on? Oh, we don't know how to operate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. Okay. And turn it. There you yes, go. Yes. Finally. Finally. Okay. And then there's another bedroom in here. 
Has this the closet? Yes. And I think there's a light in here too. Yes, there is. If you look up there it is. <laughs> there's the light. That's the closet. And then there's a bathroom in here. Yes. Here's the bathroom. It's just the same as the other one, but smaller counter. And also um, different. different color of yeah, the granite. That's kind of like the color that I have at my house. Ah, there's a closet. I mean, this is like a living closet too. Right here. And then here. And then right here is going to be a little kitchen and there's going to be beds over here. Yes. A living room. Living room and kitchenette. And yeah. there will be tea. And I think that's it. Right? Thank you, Olivia. You're welcome. Oh, there's a pocket door in here too. A sliding door. Yes. Just to have privacy, which there's no coffee that's wet. Mm hmm. Yeah, I can see where it is. Yeah. Thank you, Olivia. So, this is the living room. You put your couch in here and then the TV in the fireplace. And there's also one more spot. Right here is. Where we put the chair. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. So yeah. Thank you. And we also have a little. Oh yeah. This is like something that you can put. Like this is like a. Oh, like, like a, you can put like um. Like you can hide in here. You can hide in it, <laughs> or put um put your desk or, I mean linens and sheets and towels. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and also for the floor, um, God is God is so good. God is always so good to me. Um, for the flooring, we picked the flooring um in our interior appointment, and it was available at that time. But then after a few weeks, the interior facilitator called me and said that it was not available anymore. I was really devastated. I was really crying because this is, again, my vision. This is my vision. This is our vision that I wanted a wood tone, light floor because to collaborate the style that we wanted in this house. So, um, but thank God, I prayed so hard that like hopefully it will, it will still be available. But thank God after a couple of days, the interior facilitator went to their warehouse and saw that the when they ordered the floors, it was delivered right away. That's why it was not available in their website because it was delivered on the warehouse of our builder. So thank you, Lord, and I love our floors. It's LVP, I forgot the name of it, but it's scratch-free, supposed to be scratch-free and um, water-resistant. It... Um, the way they did that one was um, they put, it's a slab concrete and they put the rubber mat flooring and then they put the floor um, instead of, because we have also an option to do the, what do you call that, the engineered wood, but then the way they will do it is the concrete and then glue, glue it directly to the concrete, which is not after a few years, you know, you know, when the concrete cracks, it cracks also, not cracks, it will also blow up a little bit, the engineer wood. So the new thing right now is the LVP rev wood, which is also the same thickness as the hardwood, but it's not really hardwood, but it's really nice. I really love our floor. So, yeah. Okay, for the microwave and the cooktop, the cooktop, it was done the same night, that night after closing at 7 p.m., our builder has to had to call um, the people from the other um, town, like Birmingham, that's like an hour and a half from here, to come here to install our cooktop because the, um, there's something going on um, of the people in here in, in town, in our town, to do the cooktop thing. So they did that one the same night. For the microwave, up to today, October 23rd, we still don't have the microwave from our builder. We are using right now the, our old microwave from our old house that we put in our garage, which is okay too. We, we're not complaining, it's okay. It's because it's back order. We totally understand it's like four houses in this or four or more houses in this road, we don't have microwave. 
for six months now they said that it's always back order because again of you know the pandemic which we totally understand we're okay we're still living so that's okay so okay for the lights um the lights um actually they have two companies that they sent us for the lights one is Lowe's and then second is the Alabama lighting and um we checked the the preference of the lights in Lowe's and we didn't really like it because it's um traditional um it's really traditional um i and then that's not what we wanted in our house so we picked Alabama lighting but then um it's it's also a little bit traditional and they have like a brush nickel which is like silver like this color right here this this color not this but this color and um again we don't want it in our house because we want it black and white so um we asked the builder if we can use the money like the budgeted money for our lights to pick personally pick our own lights and whatever the excess would be we were gonna pay for out of our packet and so they agreed for that one so we basically picked the bathroom lights the foyer lights the um, what do you call that the formal dining room lights and the um, what do you call that like the lights in our kitchen and the breakfast nook so we just picked all of those and then and then we paid like all in all for the lights that we we paid um we paid only 65 dollars out of packet because we stuck on our budget too we didn't change the rest of the lighting like the outside the the bedrooms the um what do you call that the laundry rooms we didn't change all of that we changed we just changed the main lights that we think that um that we will like to have so that's why we only paid $65 out of packet. So I have a, I had a question from one of my subscribers about this. In our builder, again, every builder's policy or rules is different. In our builder, you get to pick two kinds of paint, two tiles and two granite. Okay, like that, if you will, if you want to add one more paint in your house and then that's extra. So for our paint here, um, they, they will give us um an eggshell washable paint which i really like looking forward i thought it's an upgrade but we didn't pay for an upgrade for that um so we picked in this paint um in our main living and bathroom we, um it's a Sh alabaster sherwin williams and then for the bedrooms and laundry it's um repose gray sherwin williams so there's only two um paint that you can have and then you can pick which rooms you want it painted and yes that's it and then for two granites um we didn't in here this is a granite too in our bathroom master bathroom and it has the same granite in um the other bathroom and in the other bathroom we picked um, a different granite because again you can pick two granites so that's it and if you want to change it to quartz or marble again it's an upgrade and then two kinds of tile again for um for your um, laundry and bathrooms so that's it okay so that's all um i really hope that you um uh, bear with me um i'm sorry i didn't get to upload yesterday and um my videos right now are very like long gap because again we are still settling in we're not even we're not even close this will be just like a long long process um but it's okay please bear with me um, i'm trying my best here <laughs> but yeah um, and i miss and i miss the, a lot of things but what do you call that i have lots of videos coming so stay tuned for that one and thank you again for watching i really hope that you like this video and i see you in my next video i love you guys love you all god bless Mwah.